one whole group briefly um, the process of moving from the foundation up to the floor and some of the components that I used in our build. So the first thing that I wasn't able to show you when we were installing the foundation panels was putting the top, uh, the top plates on and in and then moving on to the floor. So the first thing is 2 by 8 would go along the top of all your foundation connecting all the pieces that gets foamed in and nailed in with two inch nails all the way along the edge. The next step would be a cap plate. This is ripped from a two by 10. It's ripped down to eight and a half inches so that it transfers the load down onto the both plywood layers on either side of the panel. This gets caulked. So because it's a wood to wood connection. So you're gonna caulk the, the bottom and then you would nail it down to that two by eight with three and a quarter inch nails. Then after that's completed, we're gonna get prepped for the, the rim board that needs to go all the way around. Standard rim board looks like this. It's an inch and an eighth wide. You would stick it along the outside edge of your foundation panel, perfectly in line, and then you would toenail in to hold it in place. Then you would take your floor joists, they would sit on your foundation wall, and you would nail, nail the tops in, and the floor joists would get nailed into the top plate. This way doesn't provide any insulation whatsoever to your, your building in this area of your floor. So I opted to do a different method. What I did is I decided I wanted to use panels for my rim board. So I set and nailed a 2x4, a half an inch away from the outside of my panel, cut out of a 4.5 inch panel a 11 and 7 eighths chunk out of 10 footers. You can see they're 10 feet long by 11 and 7 eighths and I ran those all the way around the perimeter of my building. So this would get caulked again and nailed with three inch nails down to my top plate. The bottom of this would be foamed and then get nailed in along the bottom. This giving me insulation, R28, between the outside and my floor joints. Then I could take my floor joists and still have plenty of bearing on my foundation wall to nail it there. Then I also took nails and I nailed through here before putting this second top plate on, allowing to hold the top of my floor joists from twisting. These floor joists I decided to go with are called TGI or wood eye floor joists. The reason why I chose them are because first of all, they're very strong. They have a better span than regular dimensional lumber. And they also have a larger surface area for screwing drywall in from the underneath and also doing your subfloor on top. So once you, once I had my floor joists in place and nailed in, I put my top plate in, again foamed and nailed in, nailed in place. And then my subfloor gets blue. There's some blue that would go on the tops of the floor joists and on the outside perimeter to again seal the seal everything up. And then that would get nailed in like that, giving you a insulation other than where the wood is, continuous all the way to the outside, and strength for your wall to sit on, enough bearing for your floor joists to sit on, and that is the system that I used for our house.